Now I'll just hold it and don't press anyone. Okay, so we're going into the tent. We're going to make some bats. Yes. Yeah. And we'll show you how to do it. I've only just learned how to do it myself anyway. It's not that hard, although it did take me a while. I had to look it up and turn things around and, and all that kind of stuff. So what we need is some small garlic. Yeah. And some big garlic. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get some really good big garlic. It needs to be soft. Come with me. We've got all the different garlic here. Some of them is, some of it's a bit knobbly. So we can't use that for plaiting because it's a hard, hard one. And we want a soft one. A nice, that's a good one. Okay. And quite big. Yeah. Nice and soft. Yeah. And it's been, this one's been dried for about 10 days. So it's That'll still a little good. bit, it's a bit green on the inside, but it's lost lots of the moisture. So this is great. Okay, so we're going to go and sit down and try. Okay, come out here, come back in here. Okay, so we're going to cut the string. Try to get behind me. Not yet. And then we're going to just get all the loose leaves and pick them off. Okay. Okay. And we're going to use this as mulch later in the garden so it won't get wasted. Oh, it just went into my thumb. Ouch. What did? And these have been cleaned already. But we don't need all the roots, so we can just cut them off about a finger width. Get some nice big fat ones, middle sized ones. Lovely. I'm not a person that has very good spatial awareness, so. I have to read maps and I have to turn them around to the right way that I'm going and so when I did this I, I was watching a video on how to pack garlic and it was all the wrong way around and I it took me ages to work it out so we'll get there. So I've snipped those ones, these ones again we're going to snip these roots off and just get the extra bits off. So we're going to use a mixture of big ones and little ones in our pack. And we're going to do a plat of 10. Okay. I just chopped his neck off, so he's a bit sad. We won't use him. Where did you... Where is he? How did you chop his <laughs> neck off? Scissors. How did you chop it off? Well, I wasn't being careful enough. Yeah. Okay. Right, we've got big ones. And we've got little ones. And they're all bendy. If there's any that aren't bendy, see that's not... That's a hard one. That's a hard one. We're not going to use those ones. I'm not going to use those ones because they're wobbly. Right, now they're all clean. We're going to get some string. This is hemp twine. And I want it about twice the length of my arm. Um, cut that one off. And I'm going to make a, a knot near the top. This is our loop when we tie it up, like that, okay, and that's going to be put aside. So what we're doing is one of these, and it's got 10 bulbs on it, can you see the back, it's all plaited? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Yes. tied at the top, and it's got a loop for hanging. That's just what I made. That's cool, isn't it? That's just what I made, that's yeah. cool. So if you come behind me now, yeah. So come sit behind me on my shoulder, that's it. So then you can look over my shoulder. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. So we're going to start with three quite big ones. 